Hello! In this video I will show you how to use EMS for SOLIDWORKS coupled with SOLIDWORKS Motion. The simulated machine is a callless axial flux permanent magnet generator which is equipped with a double-sided rotor having 24 poles. Let us first create the outer erosion around the geometry. Start by inserting a new part from the Insert Components option in the assembly bar. Then, rename the part to Outer Air and select Edit Part. Create a sketch containing a rectangle in the front plane. Note that the left side of the rectangle should be coincident with the origin of the geometry. Then, dimension its sides. Let us Now, select Revolved Boss Base from the Features tab. In the axis of revolution, select the side of the rectangle, which is coincident with the geometry origin, and select OK. The created outer erosion should not interfere with the geometry of the axial flux generator. Thus, we should create a cavity. Select Insert from the menu bar and click on Features. Then choose cavity. Do not forget to save the geometry. In order to create a rotational motion in EMS, it is necessary to create a band around the moving parts, which consists in the rotor cores and the PMs. Start by inserting a new part, rename it to band and select edit part. Create a sketch in the front plane with its both portions symmetrical from the origin.
Now, revolve the part around the origin as done previously. Do not forget to add the cavity feature and select all parts inside the created band. Then, edit the cavity of the outer air part and add the band. Select the SOLIDWORKS motion from the SOLIDWORKS addends. First, start by changing the type of study to Motion Analysis. Add the rotatory motor to indicate the moving parts. In the component direction box, select the outer edge of the rotor core. In the motion tab, select data points, then click on edit. The value y should be displacement, the independent variable x should be time, and the interpolation type should be linear. The value versus time tab is defined by two points for each row, 0 second 0 degrees and 1 second 6000.01 degrees. Once defined, select OK. To define the simulation and time, Right click on the key properties and select edit key point time. Type 0.02 seconds. Click on the motion study properties then set the number of frames per second to 1500 frames.